Well, <laughs> so it's been a few months of holidays, family gatherings, travel, bad weather, unexpected work projects, laptop failures, writer's block, catching the flu, and having a croaky voice for the last few weeks. <laughs> I have been away from this podcast way too long, so let's remedy that. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. So let's start off 2018 here at the Blog Oklahoma podcast with a bold mission. I'm going to convince you to go vote. If you're a resident of the state of Oklahoma and over the age of 18, there should be no excuse for you not to vote this year. Nationally, 2018 is what's called a midterm election, meaning it's two years after and before the next presidential election when people are paying more attention. However, this election cycle is very important for Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, this is the time we elect most of our state offices, including governor, a good portion of the state house and senate, as well as our U.S. representatives. As a citizen of Oklahoma, you need to pay attention to state politics right now. Yes, politics can be boring, especially state and local politics. But what happens at the state capitol directly affects you personally. It's the roads that you drive on. It's the teachers who are teaching your children. It's you and your family's health care. It's the laws that direct our society. And it's the amount of money that comes out of your paycheck and what is done with that money on a state level. <laughs> These are not trivial things to be ignored and hope for the best on. The people that get elected to the state capitol decide these things. Not you. Unless you vote. So throughout the year, I'm going to keep bringing this up. I'm going to let you know all the information I can so you'll know how to vote. When to vote, where to vote, and what you're voting on. I would like everyone to bookmark this website right now. OK.gov slash elections. That was ok.gov slash elections. Everything you need to know about voting in Oklahoma can be found at this website. I'll be referring to it a lot. That's ok.gov slash elections. So let's begin the sharing of the information with these important dates you should mark on your calendar. There's a local and school board election on February 13th. As I'm recording that, that's just next week. <laughs> there are no small elections. For example, here in Elk City, Oklahoma, there's a school bond issue on the February 13th ballot. Very important for our kids. So if you're unsure if you need to go vote in this local election, check the online voter tool at ok.gov elections you could even view a sample ballot. If you would like to run for office or watch who's going to run, filing for federal, state, and legislative offices begin on April 11th and end on April 13th. June 26th is the primary election, and of course, November 6th is the general election. Oh, a note about the June 26th primary election. There will be a state question on the ballot, so everyone needs to go vote even if you don't have a party primary to vote in. The dates I've just given you are the highlights. There are more dates in the election calendar such as runoffs, the deadlines to register to vote or request an absentee ballot or when you can vote early. We'll discuss those when the time gets closer to them. All of these dates are again listed at ok.gov slash elections. You're going to get tired of me saying that website, but ok.gov slash elections. 
This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is convince someone they need to go vote this year. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Hey, it's February, and you know what that means here in the Latham household? That's right, it's Refrigerator Buffet Month. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, I say that. It's that time of year when we dig into the bottom of our chest freezer and we find the stuff that we forgot about. You know, that package of pork chops you bought in June? Well, we're going to have those this month. So uh, I hope you join us on this little adventure that we have every year. We try to clean out the refrigerator, eat up all the leftovers, find all those frozen things we forgot about, and eat them up this month. Why don't you join us? Tell us what you've discovered in the bottom of your freezer. Hey, did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. Yes, I was still adding music even though there wasn't a podcast episode out. <laughs> there is hours upon hours of music for you to enjoy. So head on over to the playlist, click random, you'll have a good time. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. And I promise the next episode will not be three months away. <laughs> I'm happy to announce as of February 4th, 2018, Blog Oklahoma has 721 registered Oklahoma bloggers. <laughs> your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. Oh, and one more thing. Please join us over at the Blog Oklahoma Podcast Facebook group. There you could get previews of what I'm working on, or you could discuss anything that I've gone over or even suggest a topic. Would love to have you over there. That is the Blog Oklahoma Podcast Facebook group. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. <laughs>